it was easier to manage. I started kindergarten that fall, you went off to Guyana. Granny cut off my dreadlocks. She knew how to press and curl, ponytail and cornrow, but palm rolled locks till the roots stiffened with beeswax, glistens like licorice, she didn't know. For that matter, no one in the projects knew what to do with hair left natural, left unparted and wild. They were afraid to touch the unmothered parts of themselves. Each snip made each one alive and each one dead. And if you said goodbye, it was an honest whisper, short and fine in your throat. She cut my hair like a boy who hadn't been to the barber for a month. And I sat at the cafeteria table alone for weeks. They couldn't make sense of me, my classmates, with their gender proper hairstyles. I didn't want anything to do with franks and beans, those pucks of grilled meat. I waited at lunchtime for peanut butter and jelly and was hesitant to eat bread that wasn't the color of you and me. It was hard not hearing your voice each morning throughout the day and unwilling to correct them when they said my name wrong, I gave into the sizzling. The fried chicken crunched between my teeth. I could have bitten both of your hands for leaving me here. Each finger for the gunshots that rang the night, the footsteps running on the roof, the gravel mashed deeper and deeper into my sleep. Flocks of butterflies broke my skin and I was shattered where I stood. A whole constellation of wondering if I could throw myself to the sky, coated with urgent whispers. You see that I missed you, that the barter was unfair, that you mistook me for sheep. Thank you.